Australia, 30th of June, 2025. Prime Minister's press conference on mandatory hats and sunscreen. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. As we all know, about 1,400 Australians die from skin cancer every year. And quite frankly, we're sick of it. We feel like we failed as a government and let all Australians down. Consequently, from 11.59pm tonight, hats and sunscreen will be made compulsory in all outdoor settings. Note, this will be enforced during daylight hours only and you will need to carry a hat and sunscreen whenever you leave the house. Any questions? Ah uh, yes, Bill Smith from Channel 3 News. Uh, could you please explain to us what daylight hours constitutes? Yes, thanks for the question, Bill. Uh, as most of you would understand, the sun rises and sets at different times across Australia based on the season, the location, the latitude and so on. I won't bore you with the scientific jargon. But anyway, to make it fair and easy to understand for all Australians, we've defined daylight hours as 3am to 9pm. This will cover all bases and protect Australians when they need it the most. Good evening, Prime Minister. Sam Tucker from Global World News. Does this mean, for example, if I'm a baker and I have to go to work at 3.30am, I have to wear a hat in outdoor settings? Yeah, yes, that's correct, Sam. Does that mean I have to wear a hat and sunscreen while driving to work? Uh, yes, the science shows that even while inside a vehicle, you are susceptible to solar radiation. Therefore, it only makes sense that hats and sunscreen must be worn inside vehicles. Even at 3am? Yes, even at 3am. The science is clear. Photons of light can still bounce around in the atmosphere well after dark and well before dawn. The light from the moon is actually reflected solar radiation. If we're serious about skin cancer, and we are, then in order to protect Australians, we have to enforce these rules to make sure no Australian dies unnecessarily from skin cancer. Will Australians need to wear hats and sunscreen while sitting in the shade, for example outside the coffee shop or wherever? Yes, the rule is very clear. If you're in an outdoor setting or inside a vehicle that is outside, then you must wear a hat and sunscreen. What constitutes a hat? Could I wear a baseball cap, for example? No, the science is very clear. You must wear a broad-brimmed hat with a brim size of at least 10 centimeters. Anything else will simply not provide enough protection. What if I was playing in a baseball match? Could I wear a baseball cap as part of my uniform? No, as long as you are in an outdoor setting, you must wear a 10 centimeter wide brimmed hat and sunscreen. If you are playing baseball indoors, then yes, you could wear a baseball cap as long as you are carrying your wide brimmed hat with you at all times during daylight hours as per the regulation. How will this be enforced? How will police know if people are wearing sunscreen or not? Good question, Bill. All police will be provided with sunscreen testing kits and will be allowed to stop individuals in vehicles or other outdoor settings and perform a random swab from a random part of your body. Does this mean that we must cover all our bodies with sunscreen? Yes, all parts of your skin must be covered with sunscreen during daylight hours or risk facing a $5,000 on the spot fine. For the first two weeks, the fine will be waived, but from July 15th onwards, the rule will be strictly enforced and fines will be applied. Australia, 30th of June 2032. Prime Minister's press conference on mandatory helmet laws. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. As we all know, about 36 Australians die every year from head injury resulting from falling objects. Due to the massive success of our hat and sunscreen policy, which reduced skin cancer related deaths by almost 12.5%, we're now introducing mandatory helmet laws. From 11.59pm onwards, whenever you leave your home, you must wear an appropriately fitted helmet to protect you from such things as falling tree branches and other such objects. Any questions? Hi, uh, Shana Hughes from Communist Weekly. Uh, which takes precedence, helmet laws or hat laws? Actually, Shana, they'll both be in effect from tomorrow. You must wear both a hat and a helmet in outdoor settings during daylight hours, but only a helmet when you're indoors, with a hat on you at all times, of course, during daylight hours while outside your house. It's not yet mandatory to wear a helmet or a hat inside your own private residence, but we're hoping to implement that in the not too distant future. Australia, 30th of June, 2036. 
Prime Minister's press conference on mandatory scarf laws. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. As we all know, about two Australians die every year from cold-related death. Due to the uh, massive success of our helmet and hat laws, which reduced head-related deaths from falling objects by almost 3%, we're now introducing mandatory scarf laws. From 11.59pm onwards, whenever you leave your home, you must wear an appropriately sized scarf around your neck during winter months to protect you from the cold. By our definition, the winter months entail March through to November. Any questions? Uh, good evening, Prime Minister. Peter Brady from The New Socialist. Will this law be enforced across all parts of Australia, regardless of climate? Yes. To make this fair and easy to understand for all Australians, the scarf law will be enforced across all parts of Australia, even if the temperatures would dictate otherwise. The reason for this is that sometimes sudden cold temperatures can strike and potentially kill an innocent Australian. To counter this, science has shown that mandatory scarf laws save lives. So here at the Australian Government, we've made it our duty to save as many lives as possible. And to be fair, we only have to give up a few simple freedoms to do so. United Socialist States of Australia, 30th of June 2041. Chairman's Press Conference on Mandatory Shin Padding. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. As we all know, about one Australian dies every five years from shin-related deaths. From 11.59pm onwards, whenever you leave your home, you must wear shin guards to protect you from injury. Failure to do so will result in mandatory life imprisonment. We will not be taking any questions today as it was made illegal to question the party under any circumstances. Thank you for your cooperation in this matter. We are one, but we are many. We wear our hats, our scarves and our helmets. We wear sunscreen and our shin guards. I am you are, we are Australian, but we don't wear face masks because we're all vaccinated.